He's Ray Ferraro down at ice level. My name is James Sabalski for EA Sports, set to bring you what should be a fun one here tonight. It's the time of the year where we oftentimes think of the World Juniors, but the Spengler Cup has just as much rich tradition, doesn't it? An invitational-only tournament started in 1923 in beautiful Davos, Switzerland. Players, teams, coaches, they love coming to this tournament. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening face-off. Puck is dropped, and this year's edition of the Spangler Cup is underway. Takes it to the front. Turns it aside with the blocker by Piccoli. Only do it again. Nice feed from the goaltender. Takes the feed. Canada's got the puck against the boards. And some good footwork to kick it away. And now he angles it across to Weirkosh. Shuts him down. Takes the feed. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Canada's got to hold him it against the wall. It's a straight up race for the puck. We got a delayed call coming up here as the referee raises his hand. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Fair's getting tossed with a game misconduct. I'm not so sure what went on there, James, but the final decision's been made. He's done for tonight. And the officials certainly didn't like it. Sparta's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. You kind of muddle along in a 0-0 game, and now you got a real chance to break that score open. A first power play for him. Picked off in the offensive end. Oh, that's got to be frustrating just missing. Well, it is because it's so hard to get that chance. The shooter's trying to make the perfect shot, and he ends up just missing. And he denied that opportunity. Handles the pass from the right side. And he takes a shot. That's turned away with the pad by Piccoli. Carries it in. Sparta's gained possession along the boards. And that pass goes off a stick. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. And now he tries to get it across to Jeffrey. Denied by the goaltender. Sends the pass over. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. Here he is in front. Scores! That's how you draw up with the extra attacker. Well, you've got the extra man, so you want to move the puck more quickly. You want to retrieve it with greater numbers. They do it all well, and they're on the board. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. prague has got the position that every coach loves, the lead. Then you can use your bench. Then you can use all of the combinations you might think will work for you. You've got a little bit of a cushion with a one-goal lead. Nice pass. Takes the return feed. Moves the puck. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Moves it over to Dvorak. Krog's got the puck along the wall. Now a quick pass to Saboka. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Takes control of the puck. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Piccoli. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a... Off the outside of the iron. She's on the replay here, James. We see what a good scoring chance this is, but that's a really good save. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Got a hold of the puck. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Sparta's got the puck in their own end. Devastating collision into the boards. 
As the coach told us before the game, they want to set a physical tone. There's a good hit early. Sparta's ready to go on the attack. And there's the save. Prague's got the puck along the wall. And that's picked off. Booming shot. Stops him with the glove. Sabatka's picking up steam. Canada's got a hold of it along the wall. Moved out in front. And that one's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Sabotka. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. Quick pass to Dvorak. And that's broken up. And that's picked off. Across the line. Canada's got the puck along the wall. Prague's got control of it now from their own end. Great reach with the poke check. Here he is, shot right in front. His reflexes on display tonight. Neuber's got to be able to breathe a little easier there. That slapper was pounded, and he still made the save. Here in the late goings of the period, Prague's up one zip. won the draw. Receives the pass. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Takes it across the blue line. Nice poke check. They go on the attack through center. Sparta's got the puck against the half wall. He moves it to Postma. And here's the pass to Cracknell. And here at center, that's intercepted. Pass to Horak. Slides the puck over. Centering pass! And that one's broken up. Great block there! And that wraps up the first period here. Prague's off to a good start. They dictated the pace of play, and it's a good reason they lead 1-0. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Sparta's won the draw in the neutral zone. Sabanka's got it in the offensive end. Taken along the wall by Dvorak. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Tosses it on to Weirkosh. dearnay has got it in the offensive zone. Gets up. No, it's in. It's in. Looks like he had it, but not the case. Puck changes directions pretty significantly here as it bounces off the defender and goes in. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a tie game. Dayarnay's one possession. Can't find his man. Weirkosh has got it in the defensive zone. Steps across the blue line. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Team Canada's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Poked away at center by McDonald. Team Canada's got a hold of the puck now. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Things starting to get a little physical out there. Denies him in front. Sparta's got it in their own zone. Nice connection on a cross ice pass. And he slides it quickly to Dvorak. Feeds the puck to Sabota. Oh, he rocked along the boards. I almost feel the boards rattle where I'm standing here, James. That's a solid hit. 
Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Slides the puck down low. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Cracknell. Sparta's got the puck here in the open ice. Big save. Canada's got a hold of the puck. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Officials blow the whistle. We've got icing on the call. Now, nothing too smooth about that play. Neufer's in good position to use the blocker there to shield that away. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Team Canada's won the faceoff deep in their own end. After the icing, there's a little more pressure on the centerman to win the draw. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Slides it across to Curran. Gaining steam here on the attack. Traps that puck tight into his chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. Team Canada's won the draw and they'll go to work. And he comes up with the save. Looks to set up along the point. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Great pass from off the right side. Oh, and I think that goes off the mask and it stays out and play continues. Sparta's got the puck along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Across the line from center. They're gonna go. Yeah, he jumped in pretty quickly after his teammate got hurt. He wants to defend here. And down he goes, pretty much bringing an end to this one. Yeah, he was in control of this fight the entire way. Well, in this league, if you want to get in a punch-in-the-face contest, you get kicked out as well. That'll be it for these two guys. Yeah, a little truculence goes a short way in this one as they'll say goodnight for this game. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. Team Canada's won it. Looks to make a play over to Jeffrey. Move to the middle, and that one's blocked. Denies him on the play. 59 seconds to go. Rips it off a stick. Handles the puck. Gains the zone. Tremendous hit against the wall. You think there's a sliver of room there, James? There's none, and he got caught. been pretty much a dogfight through the first 40 minutes as the period comes to an end. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. short. Their player who was injured earlier will not be back tonight. Thanks very much for the update, Ray. 
This one's still deadlocked as we are now underway here in the third. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Denies him, he got all of it! Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. Winnick's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Sparta's got possession here in their own end. They fight for it along the boards. Picked off. Dvorak's got it in the defensive end. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Frogs looking to swing the puck behind the net. Sends a pass over. Frogs got it along the wall. That's off a stick. As the puck skips into the crowd to one lucky fan, we'll get a face off here on the ice. Both teams readying here for the face off. Team Canada's won the draw. Frog's got the puck. Quick feed down low. Takes the pass. Takes the feed at the back end. Couldn't connect on that pass. Canada's looking to break out. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Great hit on the play. Frog's got the puck at center. Into the offensive end now. Here's a shot, and that's broken up. Through center along the wing. Here's a chance. Turns it aside with the glove. Sabotka's trying to brace himself. He knows the hit's coming, but man, does he get level. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's all tied up. Horrocks won a big draw on their own end. Slides the cross ice pass. Frog's got it in their own zone. Great hand eye coordination as he gets the puck back. Quick feed to Hickey. Team Canada's got it across the line. Canada's got a hold of it against the wall. And now he moves it to Hickey. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Team Canada's got possession at center. And he regains control of the puck. Intercepted the pass. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Team Canada's got the puck along the wall. Hammers the shot, and he says no. Neuber's gonna hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. It's almost good to get a second look at this. You don't get many slap shots anymore because the game moves too fast, but to be able to walk into one, tee it up and let it fly, you hope for a better result than this. The goalie just turns it aside like it's yesterday's business. Sparta's got it in the defensive zone. Clark's gonna play it from the back of the cage. It's in, he scores! And their bench jumped right up. Both teams know the longer you stay locked in a tie, luck starts to play a bigger part of the victory. He didn't waste any time. If he would have stopped that puck, the goalie would have had time to readjust. As it is, it's in the net. Team Canada's offense has given themselves a one-goal lead here in the third. Now do you sit back and protect it? That's always dangerous. You invite trouble by the puck being in your zone. Try and play it in the offense of 100 feet as much as you can. Clark's taking it from his own end. Canada's in now. Into the corner. Shot, and that banks off a stick. Hammers the shot, and he makes the save. Grabbed along the board by McDonald. That pass doesn't go. And that's picked off. 
fires it into the offensive zone. Team Canada's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed. Clark's got it along the wing. Too many bodies in the way. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Sparta's stick position is exemplary tonight. Teams can look at this on video and say, that's how you defend the middle of the ice. He scores! And how about that team? It takes up here late in the game. Well, they just stayed at it, James. I don't know if there's anything particularly beautiful about the play, but it doesn't even matter. You keep plugging away and look for the tying goal. He got clear in the low slot, found where the opening was, and takes that pass to one time and pass the goalie. Sparta's late third period goal certainly opens up a lot of decision making for the coaches, doesn't it? It does, but they must feel pretty good about their position because they just scored. I suspect they've got a little bit of a leg up even though the game is tied. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Sabatka's gaining momentum. Takes it at center. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes the feed. Here's a chance out front. That's not going to fool him. But Kelly's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Takes a shot. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Krog's got it in the neutral zone. Sends the pass over. Team Canada's got possession of the puck. Nice pass. There's the horn to end period number three, still deadlocked here. That means overtime is coming up. Well, buckle up, everybody, because overtime is coming up in moments. You love these moments of drama if you're a sports fan, and overtime is set to get underway. Puck is dropped, and OT has begun. Krog's got it along the wall. Here's a rip, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Good battle along the boards for the puck. McDonald stick handling in his own zone. Team Canada's on the attack. It on net. Stops him cold. Moves the puck. Hammers the shot. Answers it with an even better save. Receives the pass. McDonald's moving the puck through his own zone. Centering pass. And that's deflected. That goes on the twig. Team Canada's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Krog's got the puck in the defensive end. Can't get it to go. Scooped up along the wall by McDonald. Passes right to the front. And that pass attempt is deflected. Team Canada's moving it into the offensive end. Looking to wow. end it. He scores! It is over! That'll do it, but they need it over time but yet come up with a big win that's a lot of work for the points that they get gaining here in the overtime with the victory you slug it out for all the regulation now you're looking for that one chance to put it away the overtime game winner doesn't have to be a beauty it's just got to get into the net he's able to do that this series is over We are far from done from this tournament for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you at the next game. Good night.